Charlie was a big man, tall and round, and a massive horse carried him around. His smile only displayed one tooth, and whatever he spoke was one percent truth. Yeah, Charlie was one heck of a liar. He'd tell about the time when the old campfire froze right in place. It was two hundred below, then a blizzard dumped a mile deep snow. But the story that I'm going to tell to you, you'd think was a lie, but I swear that it's true. One day, as Charlie was riding through the brush, there suddenly came an enormous hush, so deafening the silence that came about. It plucked the ears of critters inside out. Ah, the rattle of a snake broke that silence in two. Charlie's horse jumped. Straight up it flew, just like a rocket. Such a strange sight that the birds all stopped right in mid-flight. Well, at 600 feet, Charlie lost his grip, headed straight for that snake on his return trip. When the snake saw what was about to land on him, he fled so fast he left his skin. That naked snake died of embarrassment before Charlie came down and made a dent as wide as a football field or more. And the seismic shock measured 6.4. Well, as Charlie was flying through the air, what should be watching but a grizzly bear? Drool dribbled down that hungry bear's cheeks. For here was a feast that could last for weeks. But Charlie knew just what to do. He grabbed a stick and he broke it in two. He had two halves. Two halves make a hole. He figured that into that hole he'd roll. But Charlie was big and the hole was small. But that didn't bother that man at all. He huffed and he puffed and he blew so hard that the bear rolled back and his fur was charred. Charlie exhaled until he was pencil thin. Then he stepped to that hole and dove right in. Ah, he needn't have bothered. He'd already won. The fighting days of that bear were done. You see, Charlie was mostly made of hot air. So much hot air, he barbecued that bear. <laughs>